guys, Todd here. Very quick video, I hope. Um, keep cod polishing costs off for fine metals. Keep hearing so much about them. Um, I've been using, I mean, I use Brasso or I've got the the buffer in the back, you know, dead easy for me. But I thought, you know, I'll give them a bash. Um, what I'll do is change the camera and we'll go for a closer look and see how I get on with them. Right, uh, I got these from Amazon.co.uk and it was £4.63 for this packet that I've got here. This is my 69 mod. You can see I've got the brass upgrade tubes here as well. Um, so we'll give it a go. Uh, we'll shift everything out of the way. And, you know, I mean, this is a bit as dirty, dirty as my stuff kind of gets. Uh, you know, just fingerprints and stuff like that. You know, it's not really dirty as such, but uh, it'll give you an idea. Uh, right. This pack uh, came with two cloths inside it. They come in uh, a sheet of plastic uh, surrounding them, and it's a resealable top. I've been using this one, and it's been getting dirty, dirty, but don't worry about it getting dirty, dirty. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can still keep using it. And uh, they smell gorgeous. And when you first get them, they do have quite a bit of moisture to them. But, yeah, you know, just wipe over. Uh, I'll give this, this is, I'll speed this bit up. Or maybe I won't have to because this is coming off quite quick. You can see I'm starting to get the uh, stuff coming off here. Now it does leave, there is quite an oily residue that comes with on it. Uh, so I would suggest getting yourself a really good quality microfiber cloth uh, for removing the stuff that's on, you know, the film that's on this, uh, you start to see that that's just coming up lovely now. In fact, I'll just give this a wipe off with my quality microfiber cloth, which is actually a face cloth that I stole from the house. There you go. Shiny, shiny. Uh, we'll give it a go with uh, this tube here. It's already starting to... Oh, aye, that's coming up lovely. Very, very quickly, because it wasn't that bad. Now, I'm wiping that off, but there's... It's still oily see it's got an oily residue on it uh, even kitchen towel or as is commonly known as bog roll you know it seems to help get the the residue off you probably find if you left that residue to dry uh, it would you know be more like a polish but you can see how that's coming up there it's coming up lovely Listen, I, I, I don't find, personally, this is just my opinion, I find it very handy uh, having just these cloths that, you know, I can pull out and use. Is it any ba better than Brasso? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, just a, a cloth with some Brasso is fine. Uh, but, you know, this does everything. It's not just... See all the scratches on my... <laughs> not... Right. I'll, uh, I'll, oh, my back. I've done my back in, by the way. <laughs> I'm just going to give this a quick wipe down. It's just getting rid of that residue that's the pig. That's the only thing. Right. Uh, what we'll do is we'll, uh, uh, what will I do, what will I do, what will I do? I'll pop this back in the tube. 
because it does stainless steel as well. It's you know it's not just the uh, brass. I'm going to pop all this back together. Remember the wee trick for the 69 mod? It's got a really short throw there. Just stick an extra washer in there. An extra o-ring in there. And it really does reduce the throw and it makes it a lot better. Well, in my opinion it does. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'm going to go and give... Well, I'll just speed it up. I can't be bothered stopping recording. Uh, Still got that oily residue on it. You really do need that kitchen towel or something to, or just you know leave it for a while and let it dry. Hopefully you can see how that's come out. So Cape Cod. Polishing cloths and fine metals, silver, gold, pewter, brass, copper, bronze, nickel, aluminium, aluminium, chrome and stainless steel. It's pretty good. That's it guys. Cheers.